Rail guns, sniper rifles, armor, and more are all on the table when you take on Bunkers. There are many gameplay loops and styles in Star Citizen, and one of the very first accessible to new players are Bunker Missions. In these missions, you are dispatched to a location to head underground and clear any hostiles at that location. These missions are one of the few that you can gain reputation and be given missions with increasing difficulty and payouts as you progress them. To start, you will need to accept the introduction mission found by going to your contract section in your Mobi Glass. Once in contracts, under the tab Mercenary, you will find your starting mission. The reputation for these vary by major area of Stanton, so pick an area you don't mind being in for a while when you're doing these. For example, if you're in Art Court and you get it to Tier 3 and you head to Microtech, it's going to reset to Tier 1, but if you go back to Art Court, it will be at Tier 3. As far as gear goes, bring whatever weapons you enjoy. After one bunker, you'll have enough weapons and ammo to choose from to continue doing these to your heart's content. Armor also doesn't really matter. I'd advise a backpack at a minimum to carry some of the gear you're going to find along the way as there is juicy loot in these places. Ship is a kind of all about flavor. You can bring as small as a fighter or as large as a Carrick. I'd recommend something that does have cargo space even if it's just an Avenger Titan so you can carry a lot more loot and we'll get into that later about why. Specialty items I'd recommend bringing is a med gun, a few med pins, and a tractor beam attachment on your multi-tool. All these are widely available anywhere in the burst that you're doing these missions. With everything on hand, let's head out to our first mission. Once you arrive, you'll notice a bunker-esque looking structure with some turrets around it. At this point, you can start getting used to everything you see as these bunkers vary slightly, but generally all look the same. Sometimes these turrets are hostile and you'll recognize this immediately because, <laughs> well, they'll shoot at you. You'll need to destroy them in that case before landing. If they don't shoot at you, that means they're friendly, please don't shoot the turrets, they will shoot back at you and you will probably lose depending on your ship. Just land as close as you can and head on out of your ship. Once out of your ship, you'll almost immediately start hearing gunfire. Once you make your way through the sets of doors, there will be an elevator shaft that you can head down to the sub level. From here forward, it is very important to go slowly and methodically as these AI are not always the brightest but will drop you like a sack of potatoes very easily. Make your way through the bunker, killing any hostiles you see. Bunkers also have security guards sometimes. They're dressed in all white armor and usually marked by a blue triangle. Do not kill them. You will get a crime stat and the turrets outside will wax your ship faster than you could ever get out of that elevator shaft. At the top of your screen, you can see the number of enemies remaining displayed. Once all have been eliminated, this will be replaced by a 15 minute timer that will start counting down. Once it reaches zero, you will be considered trespassing, you will get a crime stat, and the turrets will turn on you. So at this point, the mission is over and you've been paid, but that's not the best part. Now you get to loot. Obviously, you can take the armor, ammo, and weapons off the dead folks, including the guards. But did you know there are hidden loot crates in these areas? So far, I've found three different types. You have the red rectangle crates, which you may have seen around the verse from time to time. These have weapons and armor, including railguns and sniper rifles, which can't be bought normally like other weapons. Square crates contain utility items, such as multi-tools or knives, most notably a tiger claw, which is a tool that can be used to wipe your crime stat. Medical crates are marked with crosses, as you might expect, but they aren't as bright as other ones placed in the game, that's kind of how you can tell these apart. They contain medical supplies of all shapes and sizes that can all be very useful, and if nothing else, sold. Take as much or as little as you'd like within your allotted time frame. This is where that tractor beam comes in handy because, well, <laughs> you can move the bodies to the elevator and bring them to your ship. This is quite popular to do as it allows you to bring all those bodies back and put the armor on your ship. You can keep this armor for future outfits in case you die and you need easy armor and weapons, or you can just take them and sell them to make a little more money. It's completely up to you. A little insider trick from us veterans guys is you can bring a one SCU box with you into these bunkers to make looting them much, much easier. Now, if you're just doing bunkers for the reputation, this isn't really practical. It's just better to get in, get rid of all the hostiles, and then bounce so that way you can move on. Maybe look for a railgun or a sniper rifle. But if you are doing this for loot, bringing a one SCU box is invaluable in looting these bunkers efficiently and taking as much stuff as possible. The way to get one of these is you can't really buy it or find it. You have to create one. So take a ground vehicle, it doesn't matter which one, as long as you can put stuff in its inventory. Put at least two items in the inventory, could be armor, whatever you want, and leave the vehicle there. Hop in your ship and, well, you're going to destroy it. So shoot it, destroy it, it's going to tell you warning, ignore it, it's your thing, you can destroy it, nothing bad will happen. 
Afterward, you'll notice the box is spawned. Very easy to see, and that's it. Now you're ready to hit the bunkers and loot to your heart's content. I hope this was helpful, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want more content, check out some of my other videos.